A reference list appears at the end of an article or essay and provides documentation for each source cited in the work. This allows readers to locate a specific work and enters your work into the body of scholarly discourse. This tutorial will show you how to generate and format your APA reference list for a variety of material types. The formatting of a reference follows a few basic rules. All lines after the first should be indented. This is called a hanging indent. Authors' names are inverted with their last name first and give initials for all but the last name. Your reference list should be alphabetized by the author's last name, which appears at the beginning of each reference. For most sources, you capitalize only the first word in the title and subtitle, such as books and web pages. Proper nouns like Google, Starbucks, or CSU Global stay capitalized. For journal articles, keep the capitalization used in the source. For longer works, such as books or journals, italicize the title. But for shorter works, such as journal articles or essays in a collection, do not italicize, underline, or put quotes around the title. Let's look at this reference for a book as an example. Notice the use of commas to separate authors and the use of an ampersand before the final author. The title of the longer work, the book, has a capital letter for the title and subtitle. A very common example is the scholarly journal article seen here. It is very similar to the book reference, except the title isn't italicized and follows source capitalization, and the book publisher information is replaced with the style for journal and periodical publishers. This information can all be found in the citation record of the material in the database. For an article without a DOI number, you can provide a link to the material as well, preceded by the words retrieve from. Though the APA manual provides many examples, it recommends that you find an example that is most similar to your source for any examples the manual doesn't include. Many references are retrieved from a website. The key to determining the format is to cite the type of content, such as a journal article, ebook, newspaper story, blog post, and so on, rather than the type of platform it is on, since many material types are now online as well. Along these lines, citing blog materials, YouTube videos, or your online lectures are all very similar and follow a basic form. Online videos are cited similarly to the other types of digital media. However, because the creators of digital videos often go by pseudonymous screen names, this information is included after the author's name as shown in this example. Online lectures are another common digital material that is cited in assignments. Simply provide the file format in brackets after the lecture title and cite the organization Colorado State University Global Campus in this instance as the author. Since the publisher is the same as the author, you can state this rather than cite the authoring and publishing institution twice. As always, if you have any questions about APA reference lists or formatting, you can contact us 24 hours a day on the Writing Center website or at writing.center at csuglobal.edu.